everyone to our today's topic is how you can find the area of a trapezium or trapezoid um, uh, by using the formula and uh, you will learn today uh, how you can apply the formula uh, if you are given with a with any shape that is actually a tra trapezium what is trapezium and uh, what is trapezoid and how they differ from each other and how you can find the area of the trapezium with the help of the example so the definition of the trapezium is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Now it's very important to understand what is trapezium. You will be able to find the its area if you are given with the any type of the trapezium. Quadrilateral is what? Quadrilateral is a simple closed figure. So any figure that is closed from all these sides is a quadrilateral. Now it is clear from the given figure it is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Now let's see the parallel sides. This is one. If we label it with A and this is the another so these two sides are parallel so both the conditions are are uh, met so it means this is a trapezium or trapezoid so keep this in mind that trapezium and trapezoid are the same trapezoid is basically in american or canadian english otherwise these are the same the shape is same and uh, these are the two names of the same shape so this is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. So whenever you need to identify what is a trape trapezium, you need to check its parallel sides. Two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. So, so it is clear from the given figure that it, this is a, actually a trapezium. So in order to find the area of trapezium, we will see. So before finding the area of tra trapezium, I uh, would like to tell you that other than this shape, you can also say that the shapes like this is also a trapezium because two sides are parallel. The shape like this is also a trapezium or the shape like is also a trapezium because two sides are parallel and two are non-parallel sides. So keep this in mind this is uh, that this is not the only shape of a trapezium that this is basically a standard when we talk about the trapezium and it can also vary. So and uh, another important thing is if we sum up all the angles of a trapezium it must be equal to 360 degree so it means if i write here this is an extra information for you so sum of angles must be equals to 360 degree so this is about the shape of the trapezium or trapezoid so let's see how you can find its uh, area as its formula is area is equals to area of trapezium is equals to 1 by 2 multiplied by height multiplied by a b plus c d or you can say sum of the parallel sides. So this is basically the formula of finding the area of any trapezium shape you will be given. So if I write here h is the height of the trapezium. So here what where we have where is the height? This is the height and ab plus cd is the sum of parallel sides. Sum of parallel sides. So if you are given with these two things you can easily find the area of the trapezium. So let's start finding its area uh, if we are given with the example as I will take the example of a trapezium of another shape. So you will not get confused about the shape of the trapezium that it will always look like this. So I have a shape like this where this is the height that is 6 centimeter. This is one parallel side that is 2 that is 4 that is 4.2 centimeter and this is another side that is of the value 8.8 .8 centimeter. So it has two parallel and two non-parallel sides. This is a trapezium. So let's start finding its area as by using the formula that we have already dis discussed. Area is equals to 1 by 2. Height is 6 centimeter multiplied by 6 into sum of the parallel sides 4.2 plus 8.8. .8. And what we will get is area is equals to 3 multiplied by 13. And area is equals to 39 centimeter square so this is the required area of the given trapezium that you can easily find if you're given with the height and the uh, lengths of the parallel sides so you must have all these three uh, parameters in order to find the area of the trapezium so keep this in mind the most important thing is for a trape trapezium it should be a quadrilateral with two at least uh, with at least one pair of parallel sides or two parallel sides and the two non-parallel sides and sum of all the angles must be equals to 360 degree so that's all from today's lecture thank you